Um, I definitely developed a very inflated sense of self through that kind of 21 to 28 period. Um, so I, it's interesting really, because I kind of went from one end of the spectrum to the other. And actually both the ego, because sometimes people think the person that's like uber confident and, you know, like if you think of someone with a, with a quote unquote big ego, there's the, I think there's an, a narrative for what people think that is. But then you might take the person that's very shy and reserved and think they have no ego. But no, no, they equally have an ego because their sense of self is rooted in, I'm not enough, I can't be heard, I can't be seen. And, and that's still a story. That's still ego. And I kind of went from like my ego just shifted, like a sense of identity went from not enough, not worthy, not good enough, shouldn't be here, not okay to be me, to then this like hyperinflated kind of playboy lifestyle, driving the supercars, dating like absorbent amounts of, of you know, like a, a wild date in life um, and, and doing all of that. And it was just, but both were actually just very, very, different but very strong senses of who I was that were actually opposing ends. Um, so it was actually it's actually been easy for me to identify my ego because they were so strong. Um, and I think sometimes the quiet ego can be harder to see. So f- for that for me, now I I just try to keep awareness and I will I will spot it. I will notice it. And for, and I was ever since November 2020 when I had that experience of writing things that were biblical. I've since thought a lot of times since then, you know, like what what did this mean? And for me, that's what Jesus going into the wilderness to face the devil for forty days and forty nights, or to be tempted by the devil. That's what I think it is. That's what I think it, it's actually meant to represent. And the question that I've sat with is what is the wilderness in my life? When do I enter the wilderness where the devil, and if we just replace the word devil with ego, what do I do where the ego shows up? And if I can know that about myself and not try to reject it, but almost kind of like smirk a little bit at it, like, there you are. I knew you were going to show up. And again, hold it a little lighter. But I think like, that's really helpful. And it's, you know, what is the wilderness in my life where the devil or, you know, because the devil, again, is just an archetype, it's the fallen angel, you know, it's, it's the, um, the ego, you know, what, so what times in my life does my ego arise? And if we can start to kind of look at that with some like, kind of like being inquisitive with some inquiry to explore that and go, oh yeah, I do it there. And again, not with shame or judgment. I think so many people do that where they get upset or frustrated at themselves because, oh, I'm not loving light. No, no, we're human. And actually part of our humanity is having ego. And that's why we can't reject it because we're human. So, so it is there, but can we, can we learn to understand it well? Can we have a very intimate relationship with the ego and have a healthy one and know that when it does arise, go, oh, I see you. And maybe sometimes the ego wanting to get its fix is okay. If it's not like harmful, but it's like, but but do I see it? Am I aware of it? And I think that for me is key. Just having the awareness because with the awareness of it, I think that's how it stops. It stops it from kind of getting out of hands and we can kind of keep it in check or when you can go, okay, I see you. That's enough now. I, you, you calm down. <laughs> That's fun. The uh, the idea of ego being part of the experience, not a negative to the experience, is a powerful shift. Uh, ego has to be part of life. It has to. I, there's there is no way to have self awareness in space time without there being the part of us that we call ego. And so you have an awareness of yourself. You're aware that you're separate from the walls. You're aware of, you know, you're driving a car, that there's another car over there. You know, you got to stay in your lane. Like all of those things are, are indicative of the presence of ego and that, that aspect of us to, to define as separate when necessary. Um, I think the demonization of ego is in its own right dangerous and part of a game that ego is playing, you know, I like your idea of saying that that you can witness that aspect of yourself. You can make it okay. 
you can accept it. And then you can ultimately also enjoy it in a certain aspect and then not have it have the be the part of you that has to be like running your life or running, you know, the the story and the experience that you're having. Seems like you've, you've been on this incredible journey from, you know, learning spirituality young and, you know, really being immersed in your own personal development for quite a while now. And also having had a very early and very young career. So it's like you have this incredible accelerated development. Um, what is success for you out of everything you've experienced? <laughs> 